This is the VoiceOver Marketing Podcast, Episode 6. And thanks to my brother John for just being John and for how good that made me look. Hello and welcome to this episode of the VoiceOver Marketing Podcast. My name is John Melly, and this is the podcast dedicated to teaching in-depth and advanced marketing strategies for people in the voiceover and audio production professions. My goal is to help you make more money by showing you ways to leverage your time, charge more for your talents, and allow you to spend more time doing the things you want to do in your life. Hello, everyone. Greetings from Boston, Massachusetts, and welcome to the program. We have none other than John Florian, the founder of VoiceOverExtra.com, as our guest today. We're going to be talking about the upcoming VoiceOver Virtual, the online voiceover conference being put together and hosted by VoiceOver Extra. This event is going to be really cool, so I know you're going to want to learn all about it. And I'm actually going to be a presenter at the conference. John and his marketing director, Martha Kahn, reached out to me a while back and asked if I'd put together a presentation. And we'll talk more about that in my conversation with John. And it's the first time I'll be sharing this material. And I'm going to be peeling back the curtain on some of the key strategies that I've used to build my freelance voiceover and production business. Uh, There's an affiliate link to the VoiceOver Virtual Registration page in the show notes for this episode. So if you're listening on your smartphone or online, just remember to go to voiceovermarketingpodcast.com slash episode six and look for the link to the VoiceOver Virtual Registration page. Before we get started with John, I have a few announcements. First, this episode is sponsored by Vision Day, the one-day strategic planning day for your life. I did one of these a few years ago, and it has had a profound impact on my life and my business. And you can find more information about Vision Day at visionday.com, and there's a link to that in the show notes. I've also lined up several interviews for upcoming episodes, and we've got a lot of very smart and interesting people lined up, so I hope you'll stay tuned and spread the word. I'm really excited that we've had over 1,500 downloads, and your comments have been very positive. So thank you very much for sharing the podcast with your friends and for sharing your thoughts and your comments. I got several messages from folks saying they're enjoying the podcast, and here's one I received from Chris Tom. Chris writes, Hey, John, I just wanted to let you know that I'm really enjoying the podcast and the guests you have on. Since you've asked for feedback, I thought I'd offer this. I know for myself and probably others out there, if you could have one or maybe several episodes addressing voiceover marketing basics, like coming up with a marketing plan, cold calling, etc., I know for myself when it comes to all of this, it feels a bit overwhelming in knowing where to start. Just a suggestion, all in all, I think you're doing a great job. First of all, Chris, thanks for listening and for your great note and the feedback. I've had a little time to consider your thoughts, and the one thing that keeps coming to my mind to help you get started is that you need to set the foundation for your business first. In other words, you need to define why you're doing this. What are the reasons you're in this adventure of starting and growing a voiceover business? That's where you start. Now, to help you get there, here's a technique I learned a few years ago that helps you get to the root of your why. And it's called the so that technique. Here's how it works. Sit with a friend or a colleague and have them ask you the question, why do you want to have a successful voiceover business? Give them your answer and then have them ask you so that and you answer that question. For example, your answer to why you want a voiceover business may be, I enjoy doing character voices and I want to make money doing so. And then they say, so that I can make more money so that I can leave my current job, so that I can use my talents and gifts to earn an income to support my family, so that I can spend my time doing things I enjoy, so that I can spend more time with my kids. You get the idea. Um, The so that technique helps you really define why this is important to you. Now, I know this may sound a little squishy, but if you don't have that defined, all the marketing techniques and plans won't be as effective as if you do have your reason why defined. Now, especially if you want to go the route of cold calling, this is something that is not for the faint of heart, and you'd better have your reason why firmly in mind when you're doing that, because you're going to get a lot of no's and hang-ups, and you're going to need to stay motivated in your marketing. You're going to have successes, and you're going to have failures in your marketing. You need to have your reason why firmly in mind when you go about that. 
In a couple of episodes, my guest is going to be Rob Berkeley, the creator of Vision Day, and you've heard me talk about Vision Day in the past. And we're going to be talking all about this topic, so you will definitely want to stay tuned for that. Next episode, I'll tackle another marketing basic for you. If you do have a question or a comment, please submit them at the episode page at voiceovermarketingpodcast.com. And with that, let's move on to the part of the program where we meet our special guest, John Florian. Welcome back. My guest today is someone many of you may know, John Florian, the founder of VoiceOverExtra.com, and it's the VoiceOver Industries award-winning online news, education, and resource center. And I've been there a number of times, and John, you've really got a lot of great stuff there. Um, John is also a voice actor specializing in voiceover narrations, including medical podcasts, and he's a former business magazine writer and editor, and he combined two career passions with the creation of VoiceOver Extra in 2007. He spends most of his time at the computer keyboard digging up and posting voiceover industry how-to content, news, and resources, including an industry directory, an event calendar, and many links. There are currently more than 4,100 voice actors subscribed to VoiceOver Extra, and they look there. They go there for free career newsletters and reports, and the website itself gets up to 500 and more visits each weekday. And John, the VoiceOver Extra website, all the resources there help newcomers and seasoned pros get all kinds of great information. And I could go on and on about all the great stuff that's on voiceoverextra.com, but let's dive in. How are you, John? John, after hearing that introduction, I'm exhausted. <laughs> You're a busy man. <laughs> do I do all that? Yeah, you oh do. You, and I and I personally want to thank you that you've been very generous with me uh, in terms of posting and reposting some of the blog posts that I've written about different things. So I want to thank you for that. And well, I got to thank you, John. I mean, I, I see what you write, and it's I say, oh my gosh, we've got to share this. And and I'll be, as you as you mentioned, there's about 500 to 800 people who visit per day, mm. and we have. Nearly 5,000 subscribers now to our reports, and okay. people, they just love this, love your writing, and you're right on target. You're right on target with what you say in your podcast and your articles, so I'm, I am thrilled that you're letting me share with everybody. Oh, really, the pleasure is mine. I mean, it, you do have a great resource that you've created there at VoiceOver Extra, and the people there, I've gotten some feedback and some comments on some of the posts, and they're just really cool folks. You know, we're all working hard to build a business, and I've said this in other episodes of the podcast, that VoiceOver folks are kind of cool, because they're gutsy people, because they have a dream. We all have a dream. It all got sparked by something, but we all think, you know what? I should be the voice for XYZ, and I want to make money doing that. And they have the guts to go out and follow their dreams. And not a lot of people do. So that's one of the reasons why I really like working with voiceover folks. Well, yeah, the, the people who are determined are that way. And we, we, I see a mix of, of people who want to get into voice acting and people who are stumbling in the start of their career, or the middle of it, or they wonder toward the, toward the end or something, or they're changing. They're all over the place. But, mm. but the key is just what you said. You have a goal in mind, and you have to be persistent. And you're going to find days that are just, oh my gosh, this is too much. I'm not making it. But you know, when you're at the at the bottom of the valley, you're going to rise. You're going to go up if you have persistence and you have opportunity, uh, the talent too. Sure, sure. Yeah. And there's also there are all kinds of great educational resources on VoiceOverExtra.com. And I just want to point out for anybody who hasn't visited VoiceOverExtra.com, it's VoiceOver and then the letter X T R A dot com. Right. And um, all kinds of topics, marketing, business building, how to find an agent, whether you should do an agent, the pay-to-play sites. Uh, there's anything you have a question about, you can find out about at voiceoverextra.com. Yeah, and it's only $100 a day when you check, check in. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. No. There you it, go. It's all free. Hey. And since you mentioned that I started in 2007, so all of the articles that we've published are in the archives, and people will find things there. It's like a like a CNN site, you know, you go on a newspaper site and you see the latest things that are posted. And then there's also the arc articles, archives, all delineated by topic, like voice acting or home studio or business or industry news. And it's pretty easy to navigate, I think. Sure. Yeah. One of the features that I really like about how it's set up on the homepage is that when you have new content posted, you have this rotating 
I think you rotate maybe five or six yeah, topics. Five. Yeah, okay, five. And so each weekday, basically, a new one comes in, and then the other stuff stays there for the remaining time, but it all rotates in and out, so there's always fresh content there, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Yeah. You mentioned that you combined two passions between being a business magazine writer and an editor and, of course, voiceover. Talk to me a little bit about the evolution of voiceoverextra.com, and then I want to talk about this exciting event that you're putting together. Oh, thank you. Okay. Well, the evolution is one of those things about following your dream. And as happens with many of us, there was a delay and all that. But mm-hmm. for 25 years, I was in magazine publishing. I was I was creating magazines and editing them, and our company was buying and selling. And uh, about 12 years, or 10 or 12 years ago, I left that partnership, and I started freelancing, and then I got into voiceovers. Oh, okay. And But I wanted to continue something in publishing, and the print option for me alone was just outrageous. You know, I, did, I, I had been through, I'd published newsletters for magazine editors and things on my own. It was just, to get all that printed and mailed and stuff like that was out of the question, so I knew I had to go online. So in 2002, I had the idea of VoiceOver Extra, a website, and a news and how-to and information resource center, which is what it is now. Mm-hmm. And then I lost my, my, my guts. Oh, I, really? I, I tease, I don't know, it's going to fly. You know, maybe it's not going to work. And, and I even sort of got eased out of voiceovers for a while. And, and then I took a marketing course and went to the, one of those uh, rah-rah weekends where you get all, uh, weeks where you get all excited about challenges. You climb mountains and run around trapezes and walk over coals and you shout, I can do it. Oh, okay. And, and the thing I shouted at the end of that week is, yeah, I can do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I decided I, I I quit the job that I had taken at that point and went full time into developing VoiceOver Extra. And about six months later, I launched it. And the industry reception has been phenomenal. And as you mentioned, you love the people in this industry, and they were really helpful. I, I went to a conference and met the top people, Don LaFontaine, and he looked at me and said, "Well, if I can help you, let me know." I said, "Oh my gosh, are you kidding me?" Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and that's the way it's been. Yeah. And it's just grown and grown and grown. So you had the dream, you kind of got chickened out, and then you dove in after you went through this uh, inspirational marketing weekend. And obviously, you know, people kind of put those things down at times, but it worked for you. Oh, the marketing stuff? Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to let it work for you. I mean, you have to accept it Mm -hmm. and realize, okay, I've got the guts, I've got the... Fortunately, I had had some, some... cash to support me. You know, it was, I did, it wasn't uh, hand in mouth trying to, to support myself at the time. And I, I could afford at that point to step back and say, I'm going to develop this new company. So now you're developing something else. And I'm really excited about it because you, you were kind enough to invite me to present to it. And it is the voiceover virtual. Can you talk about this? Because this is really exciting stuff. Oh, it really is. Well, I've been doing webinar hosting webinars for three years now, mm-hmm. and I've been doing about two or three a month where I get a top trainer in a field, and, and I say, hi, I'm John from VoiceOver Extra, and here's, here's this training from, from Pat Fraley or, or whomever. Mm-hmm. And i, I got to move up. I gotta, I, I'm got still doing that, mm-hmm. but I've also been wanting to do a virtual conference, uh, a big thing, because in publishing, this is, this is kind of done a lot. For instance, Comdex, uh, the technology industry, and, and big, thing, big things. So I, for two years, I've been researching who could host this for me. And I found a platform in, say, last November, and I thought, 2013 has got to be the year I'm going to do it. Okay. So we've set up for September. And what it is, it's, it's a giant conference, two days online, and say we'll start at noon on September 18 and go live through 8 p.m., Afterwards, people can access recordings and things, and, and it, to explain it is one thing, to see it is something else. So we're going to launch registrations on June 5th, and at that point, people will be able to see tutorials and take some tours and get a better idea, but it's, it's, I've got over 30 top trainers, including you, John, of course, who will be giving presentations in the, in the VoicePlex Theater, the auditorium, and it's all virtual. People will show up at the VoiceOver Virtual Plaza where it's kind of the, the hub, the entry point through everything. And everything's online, by the way. Mm-hmm. We will be wherever anybody is in the world. Just a simple Internet connection gets us into this. 
So no travel, no hotel, no meals at a <laughs> restaurant and hurrying oh. back to get to sessions and all that. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, people can create their own agenda. For instance, say something's got a, an audio book or marketing or some kind of session starts at 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. And they want to go to, go to that. And they, oh my gosh, they got a, a, a voiceover deadline that's due at one thirty or something. Well, go ahead, do your work and come back because after the scheduled presentation, the recording will be available, and people can go back and, and hit that recording. In fact, they've got two and a half months to go back and access that recording or any of the 30 there, or to go back to the interactive exhibit hall where the exhibitors will be. You, you can go and download product information and even chat by text with the exhibitors there. Their picture will be there and also available by webcam, and you can talk to them. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. There's, and we'll have meeting rooms and hangout lounges, even a food court. And what I'm looking for, like, <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there's a template that's available to me we're going to customize. And I hope that, like, like Domino's Pizza, if I can get them to, to have a logo there and the people click on that and they just order a pizza to be delivered to their house during the show. Oh, no way. So people could actually be online, the doorbell rings, they get their delivery, and they're consuming their pizza or <laughs> and the content that's being delivered in the presentation i hope so all we'll from see. home we'll see but that that's the kind of concept all kinds of fun things are happening and we, we're having an open house on september 7 a virtual open house party which is going to be live and a lot a lot of a lot of fun stuff happening there and that should that'll be open to people who have registered all already and those who have not and it'll, it'll kind of show hey this this is what the show is all about and it's just tremendous fun. Mm. Tremendous amount of work we're putting together, but but every day we learn something new that we can do. It's more of a can do rather than you can't do. So when when an idea comes up, yeah, let's see how we do this. And so it's kind of a fun fun thing for all of the staff. Aside from um, what you just shared with us, what do you think the coolest thing that a participant attending the voiceover virtual can do. What do you? You just said that this is a kind of a can-do conference. What's the coolest thing that a person can do? Uh, you know, the coolest thing. It's going to be up to the individual. Okay. Um, because people can. Uh, there's going to be stuff there for people at all career levels. So somebody who wants to learn about voiceovers will find a number of educational possibilities about that, and they'll they'll hang around the Voiceplex Theater and, and go to all the agendas. People who have a lot of friends in the industry and want to do the advanced things, they're going to hit the advanced things. And then there's a chat button. There's all kinds of ways you can find out who's in a particular area at that moment, who's in the, the show at that moment. Okay. You can click on them. You can send them a message. Say, hey, let's chat. And you can have a text chat, all social media style. Oh, wow. And you can even go, there's going to be an agents and casting directors room where you can schedule individual appointments with casting directors and agents and play your demo for them and they can evaluate it and give you a little uh, career evaluation and set up further stuff or whatever but you you get you get to meet them online and it's again one of these things where you don't have to go to a city or a special place to meet them personally you're online and these people want to meet you that's really cool i just came back from a marketing conference down in florida Uh and it was it's good and i go I've gone to this event for a number of years, and the reason that I go has evolved over the course of time. I used to go purely for the content and learning and attending the sessions and right. and all of that. And then over the course of time, it's become a situation where I have a lot of clients there now. Yeah. And it's become more of a, a networking, reconnecting with those clients and actually picking up some more business from them. That's great. The problem is... You got to get on a plane, and you got to go through that rigmarole. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, while you're on the plane, it's not the problem; it's getting on it. It's the problem. <laughs> well, that's, that's exactly right, John. In this one, you can you can keep your shoes on if you want. Yeah, exactly. And then, but then it's a day of travel, and then it's you know you're away from home, and it's away from the office and the studio, and then it's the travel back. Plus, it's the you know mm-hmm. you, you don't eat the way you want to eat. You don't sleep the way you want to sleep. So I like traveling and it, it's okay, but this really appeals to me because like you said before, if you've got a, a voiceover deadline that you got to hit at one thirty, and it conflicts with uh, the session that you want to attend, mm-hmm. 
you can just go get it. And I, you really did say what the coolest thing is without really, I guess, not realizing it. I stumbled into it, huh? Well, yeah, you did, I, because you said I it's whatever... long enough, it's bound, something's got to come out. Well, here's the thing, is like, you just said, it's whatever the attendee wants it to be. Yeah, so you create your own show. This is a customizable conference. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Hey, that's a good... I appreciate that. You know, I, I've been saying it's a conference for the digital age, and you've set your own... A customizable conference. I like that. Boy. You can steal that. Thank you. This is kind of like a mini mastermind group. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that. Sure. What are the, you know, what other ideas do you have for me? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'll, I'll, let's, uh, I'll think about them as we go along. Okay. Tell me about some of the different presentations that you've got at the VoiceOver Virtual. We have about 30 or so now, and it's growing. And what I've done is divided this into educational tracks. Okay. And it's either a session will be in voice acting, home studio, voiceover business, or audio books. And within those, there's a whole bunch of things. Like in business, there's marketing, of course. Right. And this is also divided into career levels for newcomers or mid-level, which I'd say maybe one to four years of experience, and then the advanced pro. And when people sign in, they can set their preferences. They'll see all these, these things. They can check the box. Okay, I want to, this, is, this is how I want to customize my experience here. I want to know all, all these things and these things that I check off. Okay. And I mean, you can go to anything you want, but this this kind of sets your priorities, and then you go to a preferences tab, which is very which is on the on the site, and it will say, okay, this is what you want to attend and when it is, and so you, you set your own, you customize your your conference that way. Interesting. And, and specifically, okay, you're asking me specifically. Sure. Oh my gosh, the trainers: Pat Fraley, Mac, Mark, Mark Cashman, Jim Allberger, Penny Abshire, uh, Beverly Bremers. I mean. It's more like saying who's not in it, you know. It, 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 they all have their own thing that they want to produce, and and these are unique sessions that they haven't done before. Mm-hmm. I mean, people will pick and pick up things that they've done, but this is uniquely done for this show. Mm. And they're between voice acting and, of course, in home studio. Dan Leonard and George Whittem, the, the stars of this this whole home studio movement, uh, they're heavily involved in this and setting up the program. And in audiobooks, we have a really nice lineup. In fact, ACX, the Audio Audiobook Creation Exchange, is, is doing a series of things, including introductory production for audiobooks. Mm-hmm. And they're also doing something on how to create a winning audiobook demo. Oh. In addition, we have Paul Rubin, a really renowned and, and award-winning director, is going to be teaching. And we have another... Uh, Couple who's who's very big in audiobook uh, narrating audiobook children's audiobooks, and they're going to be giving a session on that. Robin Witten, who is the publisher of Audiophile Magazine, is going to be telling how narrators can help the sales of audiobooks by uh, publicity <laughs> of the books that they've narrated. So, and that's all growing. That that's an entire section, and it's just that that's the way it's going to be. It's just phenomenal. There's a lot of stuff on audiobooks going on now. Um, it just I just. Looking at the forums, and I'm looking at the different events that are out there. I've been requested to put together proposals for audiobooks, and it, it just seems that everybody is very, very interested in consuming that content. And you know, it's always ironic because I have when I'm dealing with people who say, "Well, what about video as opposed to audio?" Um, you know, they kind of poo-poo. Why? Why would I just do an audio as opposed to a video? And it's like, well, turn the audio off on the video, and you get half the message. But look at the explosion in audio books and podcasts and all the different media that are out there that are purely audio content. Yeah, you're listening to audio, and it's it's a lot easier to find a place to do so than than you got to than sitting down to pay attention to both video right. and audio. Exactly. Who else do you have aside from the audiobook track? Who else do you have presenting? Well, audiobooks and as I mentioned, in uh, voice acting, tremendous amount of coaches. I don't have the list in front of me. Okay. As, as you say, Pat and Jim and Penny and um, Mark. Oh my gosh, I, I, there's the, thirty all together. That's a lot of folks. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's tremendous, and, and it's growing. That's it's great. Growing. It's tremendous. So, how easy is it going to be for people to register? How easy will it be? Will yeah. It be? Yeah, I mean, oh. you just go online and register. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to announce the re- oh, registration opening, which will be on j- June fifth, mm-hmm. and it's going to be www.voiceovervirtual.com. Okay. You come to our website and you'll see what's what, and we have the tutorials and explain everything, and you can register. And we're offering 
a so-called early bird special. We'll call it a premier discount, and that'll be available for a while. And then it's got to go up in small increments to showtime, but sure. there'd be, be less expensive to get in on the ground floor. And it, what's interesting is we're, we're working with sponsors and exhibitors now on providing extra special things. So in other words, as soon as you, you register, you're going to be able to Oh my gosh! I want to say it, but I can't because the details aren't out yet. Oh, okay. Able to do immediately oh, this <laughs> and immediately that with with one of these people, and it's very exciting, very oh. exciting stuff, and that's growing too. So from June through September, all these things are going to be happening, including contests, and so it's really the event is, you know, we say in September, but it but it starts in early June. And attendee, registered attendees will be able to go back and access all the recordings and transcripts of chat rooms and things like that through November 30th. So it, it's really a customizable working conference. It's just it's convenient. It's easy for everybody. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, it's just lay down simple. All that content's going to be available. I mean, if you can, I ask what the early bird registration fee is going to be? Oh, sure. It's two ninety nine. Okay. So and what we're figuring is this, with all these 30 presentations, I mean, it, this is going to be thousands and thousands of dollars of training. Yeah. You would have, you know, you'd have to pay to get this training. And my gosh, it's here. It's yours. Plus all the, the, the interactive exhibits and uh, the, the chat rooms. We're going to have like a chance encounter lounge where you just go and you hang out and see who's there. And, you know, like the regular conference where you meet people. It sounds like a, a no brainer, really. I mean, like you just said, you go to five or six webinars and you've paid for it, mm -hmm. uh, individual webinars, plus you don't have to pay for the hotel and the food and the flight and all that rigmarole. No, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's really two ninety nine. that's a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. um, so the website for people to register for this, again, is? Voiceovervirtual.com. Okay. That's great. And the early bird registration is two ninety nine. Yep. And... It's a customizable conference in that you can choose the presentations you want to attend. And if you can't make it at the specific time that the presentation is live, it goes into this archive and you'll be able to access all of that material until November 30th. You said it right. That's, that's wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> uh, that sounds great. Well, John, anything else you want to add? Well, I've enjoyed talking with you, John, and working with you. You're you're quite a quite a spark and a, quite an inspiration to people. And I thank you for all that you're doing. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say that. And I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. I know we kind of had a plan for a different time, but this voiceover virtual, you've got a training later on today that you've got to uh, attend. That's true. <laughs> I got a couple of them. <laughs> that's true. That, that's on the agenda. And, and I also want to give a shout out to Martha Khan. Who, oh, that's nice. Yeah, she's uh, she works with you and is helping to present all the information. She gave me, she gave me a behind the scenes demo for this thing mm -hmm. uh, in advance because you were asking me to see if I would present at it. And I'm excited to do that. I'm going to do a presentation on how to build a six figure voiceover business without spending your entire day auditioning online. <sighs> You know, when you told me that title, John, I said, I want to know that now. I know. I don't want to wait. <laughs> it's the, and like you said, I've never presented it before, um, but it's something that I've wanted to do. And, uh, wow. yeah, no, nah, it's, it's, it's been a fun journey for me. I, I work full time at a radio station, but I've also got my freelance voiceover and production business. And, uh, like you, I've studied a lot of marketing and interested to share that with folks. So I'm looking forward to doing that too. Um, but Martha's been great. She's been uh, sharing all kinds of great information and all the different resources that you guys have at VoiceOver yeah, Extra. Yeah, she's great. She's, she's our marketing director. Yeah. And has been doing lots of demos with people, sponsors, exhibitors. And <laughs> yeah, she's, she's quite somebody. Well, quite, you quite know, person. Yeah, and that takes a special gift to be able to do that over and over and over again and still make it sound fresh to the person who's never seen it before. <laughs> well, you know, I, that's true, but when I give a demo, I still I get excited about it. Yeah. And in fact, there's so many aspects of this. It can be done very on a simple level. You just go to the auditorium and exhibit hall. And if you want to explore more through chats and the hangout lounges and things, there's more to explore. And to tell you, every time I do a demo, I think, oh, when I hit this button, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. still fun. Very good. Well, John, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be on the program. I know that uh, I'm excited about VoiceOver Virtual, and I hope that the folks listening are interested and, you know, check it out. Sign up. 
Go. No reason not to. Thank you very much, John. We'll see you online, and I know we'll be talking before, too. Sounds great. Well, that's it for this episode of the VoiceOver Marketing Podcast. Next episode's a bit of a departure from previous episodes. My guest is Dr. Ahmed Abdelal, who's an assistant professor of speech-language pathology at Bridgewater State University. And we're going to be talking about how to keep our voices healthy and some cutting-edge research on how voice is being used to diagnose certain illnesses way in advance of a lot of other medical tests. So... Stay tuned for that. That'll be out in a little bit. If you like this podcast, please subscribe to it at voiceovermarketingpodcast.com so you'll get notices of new episodes. And please share it with your friends and colleagues in the voiceover world. Also, it would be a huge help if you'd like this podcast and rate it on iTunes to help keep it near the top of the list. Feel free to share your comments and questions about this episode and future topics you'd like discussed at voiceovermarketingpodcast.com. And if you'd like more information on -on one-on-one coaching with me and mastermind group opportunities where we focus on growing your business, feel free to drop me a line at my cyber assistance email address at mike at johnmelly.com. Thanks for listening. Now go out there and share your voice with the world.